All right, Rich House Show time. Time to keep your hands and feet in the vehicle and the... Oh, that doesn't work with you guys. <laughs> oh, never mind it. Okay, let's go. Asking Hunter with Tom Vince, and uh, uh, has got back from the uh, Show Me Sinks show, and it was actually really good. It was good, it was busy. Of course, um, we had a lot of people there and stuff, but of course, I didn't, even though I didn't make much money, but still, I had a fun time there and great time there and everything. I got to get people to hold more reptiles and stuff, got people to hold my tarantulas and everything. And speaking of animals, I got my new animal, as you can see right here, in this uh, little cup thing right here. Before we get into this animal, let's discuss some things regarding the reptile community, what goes on. Um, good news about the Lacey Act. Um, everything that you've mentioned is not enforced, so that's a good thing. But there's still situations, and we're wondering that hopefully this bill does not get passed at all and we're hoping that this situation gets through with and we're making sure that this bill does not go through we're still trying to make sure that this does not go through at all but anyway um let's get this going so i have a new animal right here and this is a spider and i asked you some things uh have y'all been to australia before uh, I never have been to Australia, but I always want to go to Australia. And if I have the money to go to it, I would definitely love to go to it because I do love to hurt in Australia. That would be one of my favorite things to do. And uh, so here's the thing I have right here in this gut cup. It's actually one of the spiders in Australia. And it's actually considered to be one of the most feared spiders, known as the red back spider. Yes, this is the red back spider, which is known as, uh, what, uh, what, tro uh, what trotius has I, I know I'm butchering that name, but I'm really terrible at Latin names, so I'm really terrible at Latin names, so I'm trying to read the name, but I can't read it. But anyway, I just bought this spider just yesterday, and, uh, it looks very identical to a black widow, and it's where Red back spires are, they're cousins of black widows. And speaking of black widow spires, I do have a real black widow. I'll show you here. So this is a real black widow spider right there, and this is the red back spider. Um, there are, so in this next scene, we're gonna show you side by side comparison and show you what the difference are when it comes to comparing black little spiders. So I'm gonna go into my secondary camera and show you the difference. So I'm gonna turn off this camera and get onto my cell phone camera and show you the difference so we can see them closer and see them better. Okay. Uh, you see this is the red back spider. Now here's how it gets its name because it has the red back on its back. Yeah, and yes, this spider does have the hourglass, just like a black widow does. If I can get her to show me the hourglass. I can barely see. Yeah, I can see it right there. We can see it right there. The image is a little foggy, but um, yeah, that's how you see the hourglass. Yeah, and these are pretty venomous spiders. These are, da these are a bit dangerous, but as long as you don't scare them too much, they won't bite you. They will bite you if you scare them too much, and they will actually definitely inject venom into you and stuff. And 
These are considered to be one of the most fierce spiders in Australia. Yeah, for a lot of reasons. Because uh, people have been bit by them and been killed by them and stuff. Um, anti venom is very rare for them and stuff. So, yeah, um, the spider is known to be most feared. But they're not the most dangerous spider in the world. These spiders are actually less, actually not aggressive. And they're not, and they're definitely not like a, a, a murder ring spider. And <laughs> a really spider and stuff. They're definitely a really unique spider indeed. They're really intelligent and they're really beautiful. As far as, this is a female, by the way. And if we go over to the Black Widow right there, which I have right here, this is a Southern Black Widow. And she's a rescue, and I actually. You know, rescued her from a gas station that's not too far from me. So I scooped her up and took her, take her home with me, and got this jar and uh, fixed this enclosure and fixed this uh, decoration for her. I got branches, substrate right there, and she's doing just fine. She's doing pretty good. She was a young black widow when I first saw her, and I said, "Take her home with me." And there she is, right there. I've always had love. For, I got always got love for black widows and them as spiders. They're always, been, always, been, always fascinated me and stuff. Now you might be wondering what's the care difference between a black widow and a red back spider. Well, the care is actually the same. Um, you just need a tall enclosure, and you need like a tall jar, like a jar like this, or probably a tall enclosure, a small tall enclosure, probably like a micro enclosure, and some branches and a substrate, and there you go. You don't need a water dish because they actually suck juices from the from the bugs. So half the time you don't really need a water dish, water dish. whereas tarantulas, you probably do need a water dish because of the humidity from all the molt and stuff. But for these spiders, they don't need to have any water dishes. They get molt on their own free, which is just fine. Because uh, as you can see, there's, there's some molt skins in the uh, black little cage right there where she molted. I'm not sure when she's going to get ready to molt, but I'm pretty sure she'll molt soon. Yeah, I just bought her. So... Yeah, and according to her admin, she is pretty thick, so she looks like she's already eaten, already eaten like a like a week ago. So she's already full from her meal. Same thing with this black widow right here. So she'll be eaten about a week. She'll only be have a meal in a week. So that's a good thing about black widows. They don't eat too much. They only eat about like one and one large cricket for two weeks. Yeah, just feeding like one large cricket for two weeks, and that's about it. They're just fine. Now these spiders are known to eat uh, other animals besides crickets and insects. They're known to eat uh, snakes, and they're also known to eat um, mice too. They get stuck in their webs. And yes, I've seen images of redback spiders, you know, killing snakes in their own web. The same thing with black widows, which is really unique. That's how it goes. And you may be wondering which one is more lethal. The black widow or red back i say drop or drop the red back now i have read a lot about their bite and from what i read their bite if you're a healthy adult their their bite is about the same as the uh, black widow uh you you will definitely get vomiting paralysis and fever and this is in the crow and this is actually known as a neurotoxic venom they have neurotoxic venom and it is, and this so far, this spider right here is the most toxic I have in my collection. Uh, definitely a little bit more toxic than the uh, black widow I have right here, and definitely more toxic than the brown goose I also have as well. Yes, I have a brown goose too. I will definitely show that eventually if I get a chance to. Anyway, uh, that's my new spider. Yeah, I won't recommend anybody. Unless you are experienced with them as spiders, if you want to keep one of these spiders yourself in your collection, I don't recommend you guys keeping them if you're a beginner. If you're a beginner, do not keep these because these are venomous spiders and you should never keep them if you're a beginner. Because I've been working with these since I was 13 years old. As far as these kind of spiders, when I was 13 years old, and so far they're very easy, very easy to care for. But make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you're very careful with these spiders and make sure you're actually knowing what you're doing, knowing what you're doing, and how their setup goes, and all that kind 
kind of stuff. Yeah, I've always been learning how to take care of black widows myself, and and I've been self-taught about it. Self-taught when I'm working with them and everything. And they're actually not that hard as far as to take care of. And so far, they're really unique spiders to work with. I love black widows, and I also also love uh, redback spiders. I this is my first time seeing a redback spider. I've never seen a redback spider in person until I came across one to show me snakes show. So I was very really excited to get me one. I finally got me something to compare to my black widow. Nice, and yeah, we got we got both cousins, one from Australia and one from America. Yeah. Um, you may be wondering, is, is this a captive born or a wild caught? This is a captive born red back. That's right. In Australia, you cannot get wild cuts. There, you only get uh, captive born animals from Australia. No wild cuts because uh, it's illegal to get uh, wild caught animals from Australia. So yeah, and yeah, this is a really unique spider indeed. A really unique spider indeed. So. That care again is that you just need an enclosure like this, like this jar right here I got right here, or probably a micro enclosure, branches, substrate, and there you go. You don't need a water edge because they can suck the juices from the bugs. And that's how they get their that's how they get hydrated. And they only can eat like uh, one big bug for two weeks. That's how long you should, that's how much you should feed them only and stuff. To clean their cage, you have to be extremely careful. If you do plan to clean their cage, I would suggest you actually use some forceps to get all this stuff out. Just do some spot cleaning. You don't. There's not much to clean up because uh, since the since uh, black widows and redback spiders poop, it's actually very little. The only thing you need to clean up is the dead crickets the, and, and dead carcasses you see in their cages, and probably the molts you can try to get from the cages as well, and make sure you don't make sure you don't rip their Make sure you don't disturb the lip too much so they won't like climb up the jars to escape. Because these spiders are pretty fast to climb up their webs. And they are definitely expert climbers, so be sure to be careful when you're, when you're cleaning the cage. So. Other than that, these spiders are very easy to care for, but always be cautious with these spiders. Make sure you be cautious. So, like I said, uh, the care is like having these jars right here, or probably micro enclosure with some branches and uh, substrate no water dish and there you go so yeah and, and temperature uh, temperature will be room temperature it's good for them room temperature is actually good for you if you keep your room temperature is around, around like uh, I would say in the mid 70s that'll be good just don't keep your room temperature too cold if you keep your room temperature too cold then it probably be die quicker and that will be good now uh, Redback spiders, how long do they live? Well, since this is a captive born, she might live longer than this one because this is a wild caught black widow right here. Uh, wild caught black widows, they live up to about four or five years in captivity. I'm not sure how long they can live in captivity if they're captive born. It's one thing to find out if I do get if I do find if, I, if there is any captive born black widows available. So, but so far, uh, I've never seen. Captive born ones available. Black widows, but, but I mean, a captive born red back, and I'm pretty sure she'll uh, for, live for a long time. That stuff. Yeah, and also she mentioned this uh, when black widows are immature, they're, they're a different color. They're actually uh, they have that white line over their red spot, and they start to lose their patterns, lose their, lose their pattern after they mature into adult. So, yeah. And yeah, and both my uh, yeah my black widow and my red back are both adults now. They're both adults, and so they've already lost their patterns already. So they can look at them and stuff. And you may be wondering how do I know this is a southern black widow? Of course, in in America we have four different types of black widows. We have a northern black widow. And we also have a southern black widow. We have an Eastern Black Widow, and we also have a Western Black Widow. The Western Black Widow, they are, I guess, they are actually a little bit bigger, and they actually have a split, like a split down hourglass. They have an hourglass that's like, you know, breaking apart. 
And this is a Southern Black Whale. Southern Black has like a full hourglass. You can see this side and the nails have the red nails have a little bit of red spots on their back. And that's what they have. So a Northern Black Widow, they are, they have thicker legs and um, they're a little bit more bulkier than regular Black Widows. That's a Northern Black Widow. And an Eastern Black Widow, they actually, they're actually the same as the other Black Widows I mentioned before. But the pr the difference between the two is that is that they do they, they they're actually fully black, no red spots. They're actually fully black, and they do have a, they do they still have a red algorithm on their belly, but they are fully black. And this one, this red one right here, I can see the little red. See a little, I can see a little red on the bottom. Yeah, she's got a little red on the bottom, so that's a southern black widow. Southern black widow still has a little red on the bottom, so I can tell it's a red. It's a southern black widow right there, and this is a red back. Yeah, you can tell the red back is there. So red backs they have like a, like a dorsal stripe, dorsal red stripe. That's how you can tell it's a red back spider. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm Hunter I for Top Fest. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you ever want to see. Uh, more more videos about her. Let me know in the comment box below. I might do I might, I might do more videos of her and tell you what, what it's like to have a uh, redback spider. Anyway, guys, um, you guys are alright. Thanks for watching, my top fans, and I will see you guys later. Bye.